Dr. Mike, his shirt buttons. <laughs> Recently, I've been getting a lot of hate, so I decided to prescribe a healthy dose of medical meme review eight. It'll be great, mate. Be what? Fill your cup day at <laughs> Oh, that's so gross. This is what uh, patients who have a male genitalia uh, use to urinate in when they're in the hospital. If you're gonna be using those to fill your cup up on 7-Eleven day, make sure that those are fresh, because otherwise, ammonia? Me, my back hurts, I wonder why. My sleeping position. <laughs> First of all, I don't know who this golfer is, but oh my God, what is he doing? That could be the most awkward. I feel like this is Photoshop. This can't be normal. But yeah, a lot of times my patients wake up with pain that they didn't have the day before. A lot of times it's because they're sleeping on too soft of a mattress, too firm of a mattress, the wrong amount of pillows. There's a lot of things that play a role in how you feel when you wake up in the mornings. When I tell my therapist about my childhood, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> I'm only laughing because of this gentleman's expression here, but yeah. In order to comply with privacy regulations, we are not allowed to call our patients by name. Will the lady with the itchy vagina <laughs> please go? I don't even know what joke to make about that because it's just so funny on its own. I'm just gonna leave it out there for you. Think about it, laugh about it together. Wait, what are you doing? The virus database has <laughs> updated. Not that far from reality. When we give a child a vaccine, we're allowing the child's own immune system to better prepare for when that virus comes to attack them in real life. That's what the whole point of giving a vaccine is. And I'm not gonna lie, I've had babies look at me like this when I gave immunizations. I mean, their eyes don't light up, but they look at me like they're offended, like I disrespected them. I grew up in Brooklyn. I know what disrespect eyes look like. My question is, why do one and two year olds know about that? It's like, why'd you use such a big gauge needle? And I'm like, yo, chill, B. I say B because it's a baby. A spider just tried to crawl across my hand and now I'm Googling how to extract a fork from bone without causing more damage. <sighs> RIP, my Audi TTS. Uh, I think it was a 2010. Oh, it was such a nice car. I was driving my beautiful, brand new, red Audi TTS and a spider falls upon my cup holder, scares me. I smush it. I crash my car. I don't want to tell you the whole story because it's even more embarrassing than that, but I'm going to be telling this Audi story in one of my upcoming videos. Did you know left-handed people have a higher chance of finishing their exam on time than people who died from not being <laughs> vaccinated. You wanna know a fun fact about left-handed people? They suffer more workplace injuries because most tools are designed for right-handed people. Bet you didn't know that one. When you're an adult and now you have to go to the doctor alone. Oh, Squidward. Actually, I recommend to my patients always bringing a loved one because when you're hearing news, bad news, good news, whatever it is, and there's details involved, sometimes it's easy to forget those details if you don't write them down especially. But if you have a second person there with you, not only can they also ask questions, which you probably have similar questions and you forget to ask, but they'll also be able to recount some of those details with you when you guys go home later. SpongeBob, my immune system the first time I get a virus. My immune system the second time I get the same virus. See, SpongeBob got diesel because your body builds up antibodies. It's like, look, we've seen this once before. We already know how to fight it. Let loose the warriors, AKA diesel SpongeBob and we get better. I just think you, you misunderstand me and my shirt buttons. I think my shirts fit me just fine. They're made for my body. A lot of people will jump to the assumption that they're very fancy. They're not. They're actually very reasonably priced, around 40, 50 bucks. When I sit cross-legged, that puts like an awkward hump into my back slash lower pelvis area that puts a lot of strain on the lower buttons. So yes, they do sweat. They definitely earn their money. What would, what would buttons want to earn? Not money. String? Whatever, they earn. They're stressed out, but they're earning. Tobacco industry, you want a nicotine addiction and lung cancer? Teens, no, WTF. Tobacco industry, it's mango flavored though. Teens, oh! I cannot believe how our society is slowly being addicted to the thing that we've spent decades on addicting them from. I know that makes no sense, but let me throw some statistics at you. In 2000, the smoking rate for teenagers was about 20%. In 2017, it dropped to 5%. That's a huge decrease. 
But guess what? Now it's being replaced by teens vaping. 30% of high school teens admit that they vape at some point. That's crazy. That's nicotine. It affects your frontal cortex, the decision-making part of your brain. You're now allowing it to learn the habit of addiction to a substance that's not healthy for you like nicotine, in addition to all the other harmful chemicals that we find in these vape pens. And I know people wanna jump in and say risk reduction is better than smoking. Well, if teens weren't smoking before and now we're giving them vape pens and they're vaping like crazy, that's not risk reduction anymore. Maybe we could talk about risk reduction for adults, but the problem here is in teens. We gotta talk about teens. Did I get too angry on that? Chest compressions are useless and it's better to wait for medical professionals to help. <laughs> I'm about to get very unhappy. You're about to get very unhealthy. <laughs> chest compressions, chest compressions, chest compressions. They save lives, baby boo. And you best believe that merch is incoming. That contract is about to be signed. I'm about to have all that. Mm, mm, DM, sorry, not here. DM, chest compressions. Yeah. The only essential oil I trust is WD-40. That is essential, and it is an oil. God, I hope it's an oil. I know it's a lubricant. I'm not even certain that it's an oil. Friend, what did your wife do just before she had the baby? Me, she went and then a bit of poo came out. Friend, I meant work-wise. Oh, bookkeeping. I've delivered babies. I think during my residency, I was up to like 30 something deliveries. Pooping is normal, it's part of the process. Don't panic, we wipe it away, we move on, we forget about it. Because there's a lot of pushing that happens. There's a lot of pain that happens. But the most important thing is making sure mama's healthy and the baby comes out well. Everything else, just a little poop that you can get wiped off. When the doctor's office forgets to ask for your copay. <laughs> Wait, is this guy from an infomercial and I don't know? Because he looks kind of rad. I like his sweater. I think his sweater says CCCP, which in Russian means USSR. I think, I'm not quite sure. What's interesting to me is I see people go into the vet and they're like, okay, it's like $1,000 to give your dog an IV. Anything for my dog. Here's $1,000 cash, no problem. I'm gonna go bankrupt, no worries, but fix Fido. And then they need to go in to see me for a physical and they need to pay $15. It's a whole big argument. Why do I need to pay $15? I don't understand, this $15 is ridiculous. It's $15 and we're gonna be preventing a lot of problems down the line that are gonna cost a lot more than $15. Think of that $15 as an investment in your health and your wallet. Your baby is sick as He definitely needs a shot. Cheers, sick as <laughs> Why does the doctor have no arms? Why do we have an armless doctor and then suddenly develops an arm to take a shot. That's my biggest concern in this whole thing. Me, spends eight hours per day on the internet, eyesight gets worse, me. <laughs> my vision has gotten worse. And when I went to see my ophthalmologist, the thing that he told me is I've been staring at screens and textbooks for too long. Probably not textbooks, because I did everything on the computer. But he says when you're close to the screen, your eye muscle strains so much, it actually makes your vision worse over time. So he recommended that when I look at screens, I keep them further away from me. That will help my eye muscles relax some. I've been doing it, haven't seen much of a result, but I feel like I'm on my way to contacts. Or maybe LASIK. That could be my future too. Would you guys want to see me get surgery on my eyes? Childhood injuries, fell off my bike, fell out of a tree, twisted my ankle. Adult injuries, slept wrong, sat down too long, sneezed too hard. Well, it's funny because childhood injuries mainly acute problems. As you get older, chronic problems. You've been alive for many years. And if you do repetitive activities, sometimes it can wear you down, especially if you do unhealthy repetitive activities, like sitting. Sitting is generally unhealthy when you do it for 13, 14 hours of the day, which many of us do. Docs, are you saying I should touch myself whenever I feel like it? No, Jeff, I said you could have a stroke at any time. I don't get the joke. Doc, are you saying I should touch myself whenever I feel like it? No, Jeff, I said you can have a stroke at any time. It reminds me of, that's in me. A stroke, not that kind of stroke. I'm talking about a stroke like a paddle stroke, but the other stroke. If you didn't get it by now, you're not gonna get it, so just move on to the next meme. I know you don't have a choice because I control the length of the video, but either way, just wait until for me to finish this monologue and then the next meme will start and then we could continue on with the joke, okay? I'll see you on the next meme. 90 year old vaccinated person dies, anti-vaxxers. It's those damn vaccines. Anti-vaxxers, what are you doing? Just, for what? Por qué?
porque eso necesito. No necesito. Por favor. Toma su vacunas. If you haven't seen, I recently got into a fight with a plant. Check out this amazing fan art that someone sent me on Instagram. This is so good. It made me and my coworkers laugh for a while. And if you haven't seen me get into a fight with this plant, click here and watch this video. As always, stay happy and healthy.